Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Game Time. I'm your humble host, Kyle, and uh, we got some video game adjacent uh, material to talk about today. Uh, who says we aren't? Uh, we don't promote literacy here on uh, Game Time. We got some fun reading material for you today, um, and hopefully, maybe a first of a series of videos. I just pulled a handful out here that I thought would be kind of fun to talk about on this video. But uh, if it does pop, you know, if it's uh, popular enough and and people want to see more, we'll definitely do. Uh, a little bit more in the future. Um, can be talking about Atari Force and some Nintendo comic system stuff today, in particular the Game Boy series. So let's start with Atari Force. Uh, we'll just thumb through the things and take a look at the ads real quick, and uh, I'll share um, some very brief knowledge with you. The Atari Force comics, I have issues one and two. There is five total, and they came out with the games Defender, Berserk, Star Raiders, Phoenix, and Galaxian in that order so i have three more to get um and i guess they were popular enough at the at the time because again these came with the games so you play the games and read some comics it was a pretty good value um dc a year or so later would actually do uh, a series that were more uh more comic shaped like actual comics and that ran for 20 issues and kind of continued the story in these uh, mini comics but you can kind of see size comparison uh, a lot smaller than your standard uh, comic issue, but uh, pretty neat that these were uh, available with the games that you purchased, created and written by Gene or Jerry Conway and Roy Thomas. So good job, everybody there. So, and uh, yeah, you can definitely tell it's very 80s. I love the bright art style. Definitely, uh, I'm a huge Iron Man uh, and Avengers fan, so I have, you know. 2000 comics or so and uh yeah definitely looks like the art of the time period very uh light and vibrant so it reminds me of my uh, 80s uh era iron man comics quite a bit too uh pretty thick as well i mean this thing's like 40 some pages i think uh yeah 45 pages for that but kind of thumb through it a little bit um if anyone's interested i'm sure there's uh, ways to read them online or you know what you can actually collect the things yourself because even if you're not a huge comic fan i think uh, having some atari force on the uh, shelf by your atari cartridges could go over pretty well love the uh, artwork there definitely atari looking and uh last page there you can kind of see this is just the uh just the beginning so watch for yeah number two in berserk number three in star raiders both available soon so kind of fun there uh, I have yet to read these myself, so I don't know the uh, full story. I was assuming that, uh, you know, some of these characters would go into the world of some of these Atari games, but it doesn't appear to be, uh, doesn't appear to be so, because I think uh, it even starts off, like, Atari itself is called, like, uh, Atari Technical and Research Institute, A-T-A-R-I, so they're kind of astronauts. Uh, interesting headquarters there, Atari logo looking, because uh, in modern day, right here, right now, there actually is an Atari hotel being built that kind of looks very similar to that, so Atari themed. There's the second one there, and uh, yeah, 1982, it's too small to see in the video, but 1982 Atari, kind of see a little bit of some of the characters in action, nice cool spaceship, pretty cool here. Thumb through them pretty quick. Last page. Yeah, Atari Force 4 available in Phoenix Volt available soon. Same uh, looking last page there, but uh, pretty neat. I think I kind of want to get uh, the other three. I think they're kind of a, a fun set to have. And I know my local comic shop does have the actual uh, main 20 issues of Atari Force. Uh, all of them pretty cheap as well, so we'll see if I want to make an investment in that. So, uh, cool uh, idea from Atari right there. Now let's jump ahead probably a good decade or so to the Nintendo comic system. Um, they had a series of comics as well. They had some based on um, Super Mario Brothers and Captain N. Uh, the Game Boy ones, they're just literally called Game Boy, as you can see. But uh, not necessarily different Game Boy games. They're all based on Super Mario Land. And this is one where uh, Mario and those characters came out of the Game Boy and they interacted with real world uh, humans as well. So I thought the Atari Force was going to be something similar to that. I have uh, issues one, two. I could have sworn I had three at some point, but it definitely was nowhere in my archives. And this one's uh, number four. So I thumb through this here real quick. 
cool ads uh, in the games or in these uh, comics as well, mostly for Game Boy games. As you can see there, that one's uh, NES. But you can see I uh, got uh, you know real world people. There's a guy working at a, a game stop. There's some kids there. Uh oh, they pop out of the game and and tie them up. The villains from the uh, Super Mario Land game. They got Daisy in there. Daisy's looking pretty pretty dorky. Uh, but of course, you know Mario will eventually come out and and save the day as well. There he is. Pretty uh pretty fun drawn comics there. Oh, and ads for the other uh, comics I was talking about. So yeah, Nintendo has comic systems. There's Captain N, the Game Master, which I distinctively remember seeing uh, some cartoons based on that. Uh, they use Mother Brain from Metroid as kind of the, the villain there. Uh, I don't think I've seen those since I was a wee lad, so I couldn't tell you any more than that about Captain N. And the Mario Brothers comics, which I'm, I swear I had a couple of these too, because some of these covers that they show look very, very familiar. So I swear I've had them, but uh, they are nowhere in my uh, archives right now, unfortunately. And there's just the Nintendo comic system itself has uh, some smaller stories based on Zelda, Captain N, Metroid. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind checking that out. Mario Brothers and um, oh, Punch Out! So, kind of fun seeing the uh, the ads there. Of course, they're very uh, the NES Zelda looking ones. Ad for Nintendo Power there. You can subscribe. Ah, there's the uh, another Zelda one there. Obviously based heavily on the NES looking uh, Link. But uh, kind of neat. So, it kind of continues that story there a little bit. Oh, Mario gets a star. wonder what's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, and more ad for classic Game Boy games. There's Ghostbusters 2. Yeah, I gotta check that out. Boxing and volleyball. So, take a look at the second issue there, real quick. This one's got a smiley face sticker on. Not sure how that ended up. Nice ad for Bigfoot on the NES. So, it looks like kind of the same deal. Uh, they pop out of a Game Boy and, and cause some havoc once again on, looks like the same uh, gentleman from the, uh, the uh, previous issue. Add for Legend of Zelda. There's uh, issue number three, it looks like. Again, not showing up on the video too well, but pretty neat. I would like to maybe collect all these uh, comics uh, from Nintendo. Hey, coupon! And there we go, folks. Yeah, Mario Brothers comic, Zelda, Captain N, the Game Master, Game Boy comic, which is what we've got. And Nintendo comic system, and all five for one year. I'm not sure how long these ran for, because I definitely don't... Uh, remember them lasting too long nor when i see the random ones i don't think i've see uh the issues get too high they're always in the first uh first few issues so it'd be interesting to see um how long they ran for and you could probably collect literally all the nintendo comic systems maybe some of them are a little bit more valuable than the others but uh it'd be fun to kind of go back and collect them now let's take a look at the last one here you know basic uh deal right, and a nice uh back ad for spider-man and fortress of fear on the game boy i don't think i've uh, heard of that one uh more uh get you sub to subscribe to the comics pretty neat to definitely mario brothers 3 right there hey ducktales on the nes classic so uh, a little bit of a different art style oh you can kind of see how uh, the mario Small Mario interacting with uh, human characters in there. There's the uh, plane that he uses in uh, Super Mario Land. So, some good action right there. Love these old uh, 90s advertisements. All right, that will pretty much do it uh, for this video. I thought uh, it'd be fun to kind of show some of these off, something a little bit different than the video games all the time. Thank you, everybody, for liking, subscribing, watching in the first place. Uh, leave a comment. I do see them and do get to them at some point. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how well the video does. If there's any interest in uh, checking out some more of these uh, gaming-themed comics, we definitely will do so in the future. So thank you, everybody. Take care. Happy gaming. See you next time.